In this video we're going to look at project collaboration uh, in 12D model involving multiple users. Even though there are only two of us in the office, the, um, the concepts shown in this, in this video can be obviously expanded to include many more users. So in this, in this video demonstration we're going to look at file structures, model sharing, tin sharing and moving functions, MTFs and templates between projects and I suspect in another video uh, general housekeeping. So the most obvious way to break up a project is to break it into uh, scope of work or phases. Um, if it, in this instance, it's pretty pretty easy. The, the client has done it for us, whereas we have the, the entire project and we have phases. So this red one's phase one, this green is phase three, and the blue is phase two. However, we could break this down uh, vertically as well. Um, for example, a uh, uh, we could do it by designing all the roads and the earthworks in, in, in one, one project. We could uh, do all the boxing and subgrade um, design in, a, in another project. And also we could do it maybe our, our utilities is, is done in another project. So this is, this is one way um, of breaking up a project. So there's obviously no right or wrong way um, to do this, but, um, but this is the way I've done it in this project and I think it's a pretty good example that can be expanded on. So how I've broken it down in, in this, this project is I, I create a project survey file. Um, this project survey file is, is, is where I bring in all the survey data and share it across other projects, but I also bring in um, other CAD data that's common like boundary information, um, architect layouts, um, GIS information and, and that sort of thing and, and sort of in that project survey file I share it to the other projects. So in Explorer, you can see uh, a number of files here. You've got Pill Center Survey Project File, and that's that file that I was talking about with all the import of survey and the common data across different phases. Then there's obviously Phase 1, Phase 2, Phase 3, and uh, Drainage, which is the um, below ground um, stormwater and foul water, and also um, the clash, clash detection between other utilities. And um, so in essence, what this would allow would be um, one, two, three, four, four users working simultaneously in the project. So the question, how do you share models between projects? It's actually very, very simple. Um, if you go to this models sharing and we click the share button and basically we tick on the models that we want to share between projects. So I've just jumped into Pill Center phase one and um, what I, what I want to do is I want to bring in the models um, from the survey um, and, and bring it into this project for reference purposes. So to, to bring those models across, just like you would XREF in AutoCAD, um, is you add, or you go models sh sharing add, and basically in here, you just se select the project um, that you want to bring your, your data from. And in here, we just add those models that we want to bring into this project. So while also sharing uh, between the project survey common project file, um, we might also want to be sharing in between um, other users' scope of work. So it work, works exactly the same way. I'll just I'll just add um, I'll just share add from the other phases. So just say I want to share from phase phase three. As long as those models are ticked on. Um, I can add those models from uh, other phases into this project as well. So the, the benefit of sharing models between projects is, uh, and TINs for that matter are pretty obvious. If the design is updated by one user, then the rest of us get the updates. Um, this obviously does create uh, additional problems, um, mainly to do with uh, naming conventions and, and renaming of TINs and models. And, and if you sort of set up that, uh, that framework early, um, it makes this process uh, obviously a lot easier, which I'll address in another project, uh, in another demonstration. So for for tins as well, we can do the same thing. Um, tins won't uh, won't share across if you just tick the tick the model. Um, you have to tick the uh, the tin. So to do that, we just got to go to tins share and tick on the tins that we want to share between another project. So for this instance, I'm sharing um, my formation level. There's phase one break line, and this this one here is being shared um, to the drainage model and also to 
to phase two and three. And also, if, it, if there was a reviewer um, that wanted to review all the data, I'd need to tick on, tick on here. So just say a model is updated or a tin is updated, um, it is actually a live document, uh, a live model. It, 12D won't give you a, 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 won't tell you that it's been updated like, like say AutoCAD would. Um, but as long as you turn off that model um, and basically turn it back on, it'll basically re refresh. So this is this is great if um, if you basically know how you're going to divide a project um, before you start the work. But this isn't always the case. Sometimes boundary lines are redrawn. Um, or extra users come in and they want to do part, part of the project and you sort of need to move data between projects simply and easily. Um, and often what, what happens is we're talking about um, functions, we're talking about MTS, we're talking about templates, we're talking about boxing files, PPFs and so forth. And there's quite an easy way to, to move this data across. Um, there's obviously the, uh, the way in 12D which is to, to copy the copy the project models in between from other projects um, but often this won't actually retain that uh, that function data um, so to do this we have to go into Explorer to to move the data so I'm currently in uh, the phase, phase one project and um, basically what I want is I want a, a road that was designed in in um, phase two and I want to, and I want to copy that information um, into phase one. So to do that, um, we've got to go into this phase dot project file, um, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring in the um, the first file. I'm going to bring in a function, and I'm going to bring in um, let's bring in this at road ab function. Um, and what I want to do is I'm going to copy that file, and I'm going to go into phase one, and I'm going to paste it. Into, into the into the project, um, and basically at the moment, if I was to go to apply many, um, that road is not showing in here. So for that road to be brought in, we have to go to utilities functions and add that function to the project. And now we have the road ATB. So the next part is we're looking for an MTF file that's not in this project. So we also need to copy that pro that file um, across. So we go to phase two. Uh, MTFs are actually not in the dot project; they're in the in, in above that file. Um, so we want to go to MTF, MTF, MTF. We want to go to this um, is it AC that I wanted AB AB file and copy that file across to phase one. And you can see I've already done it before, um, and um, and finally, the if I was to have the alignment in here, so I was to copy a copy the alignment across, um, it's basically going to look for a te look for templates as well, um, and that works the same way as functions. We go into the into the phase two area, and as long as you know what template you're looking for. Um, So I'm bringing in these road AB files. If we were to copy those across into phase one, and basically at the, at the same same again, they won't show up. Oh, sorry, they will show up with templates. If they haven't, you just have to go to utilities add add all to project and basically that will bring in the templates across the project so as long as the, the alignment that you've used to reference is still there if you hit apply um, this function would then basically be moved to that to that other project now the great thing about 12d is is that that process can be done with with a lot of these other files as well so just say I wanted to bring in um, all of the models as well um, I could copy the model across from from another project um, and dump it into the file, the, the dot .project file in Explorer and to bring it into the project once again we just got to go utilities add and add add all to project um, 
And this is also useful, this, this concept um, of adding and removing models is if, if that data that you need, um, you only need it once and then you never need it again. If you were to remove that model, remove from a project, it still stays, it's not actually deleted, it's still an explorer, um, but it doesn't load every time you open up 12D. Um, and that, that can be quite a useful data, a uh, useful concept if you have um, really um, he heavy data sizes um, and you want to, to speed up your, 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 your design.